Good evening. This week we are focusing on worshipping our Lord, starting anew each time to continue in our worship of Him. Last night we saw that worshipping God in our daily lives as individuals and also as parts of our families is a core part of our daily lives. Another core part of our daily lives is worshipping God through the work that we do. If we look at the New Testament church, we see that the church was composed out of people from various social classes. It happened that believing owners and their believing slaves were members of the same congregation. And this brought questions to the fore about the relationships between owners and their slaves, and especially the question of whether slaves should continue to do their work. And this uh, gives us insight into our own perspective on the work that we do on a daily basis. In Colossians 3, from verse 22, we read, Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything, and do it not only when you see when their eye is on you and to win their favor, but with sincerity of heart and reverence for the Lord. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Obey your earthly masters in everything. This is a command calling slaves and today workers like all of us to be diligent in the work that we do, to do it with a sincere heart, to do it to the best of our abilities. Think of people from the Old Testament. Think of Joseph. Think of Daniel. People who started out and as slaves in the households of their masters and who did their work so diligently and were blessed by the Lord in that so profoundly that they were set into positions of great responsibility. The basis for work like this becomes clear in Colossians 3 that we read together. Work at it, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord. See, with this attitude towards my work, my work continues to be worship of the Lord. It's work that I do, not simply to earn a living or to make a name for myself or to attain a certain position in life or to keep the people in my life satisfied. On the question of what the Christian understanding of work is, the author Dorothy Sayers wrote, it is that work is not primarily a thing one does to live, but a thing one lives to do. It is, or should be, the full expression of the worker's faculties, of all of our gifts, the medium in which the worker offers himself to God. Colossians says, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. Now in these times when our work routine and our habits has been thrown into disarray through various regulations, in times when we often feel frustrated because we're not doing as much as we used to do, or we have to do so much more just to get done the things that we did previously. In this, may our confession regarding the work that we do for six days of the week be, Christ is the Lord whom we are serving. May we continue to worship Him anew each day through the work that we do. Good evening.